I see, I see. So I need to... Oh god, I need to find some kind of sticky substance that I could use to glue it back together. Bad thoughts, bad thoughts. Um... Hmm. Was there anything else in that room? Well, that's new. You take the coveralls out of the bushes. Coveralls? Can I put it on? Here, this is for. Well, I'm woke. I guess not. Um. Coveralls, coveralls. Who needs. Oh, wait a minute. Clothes. How about that, uh, new guy? Oh, no, I can. No, the flashers don't need it. Uh, was not that guy in the barrel, though? Yeah, you. Ah. Here, you poor guy. I don't think I have any use for these. Hey, these are pretty smart. Did you look in the pockets? I thought I did. There's a million pockets in this thing. Look at this. It's a key. Something for the casino. Here, have it. Thanks for the pants. So I have a key now. CP? What does that mean? CP, CP. My first guess, second floor. You can't do it. Ah. Darn. The key fits in the lock. You turn the bolt and the door easily opens. See how that works there? You walk through a maze of twisty hey little passages, all alike, until finally you walk through an archway and into... Holy guacamole! Is that a With the humidity at about 150%, your leisure suit immediately wilts, sadly. A feeling not wholly unfamiliar to you. Au contraire, Pierre. The humidity will make my suit cling to my body and show off my physique. She stands before you, totally unselfconscious of her near nakedness. That's encouraging. Yes. Who are you? What are you doing here? And how did you get in? This is a restricted area. Me? I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer, I found a key that fits this door. That's kind of what I do. Wow. Points for boldness then, Mr. Laffer. Call me Larry. Okay, Larry. I'm Jasmine. Hmm. Wait, wait, take... They like it when you... Um... Sure. Jasmine, how do you hold your breath so long? I can't swim across the kiddie pool underwater. You must have great lungs. Yeah, I guess I'm just well endowed. You can say that again. Come again? Yes. What? How did you know? Huh? Let's start over. <laughs> uh... So, Jasmine, tell me. How does one get a gig doing nothing but whaleback riding? Oh, I do much more than that. Riding Mr. Wiggles is just the fun part. I also get to feed him and clean up after him when he gets sick and carefully cleanse his blowhole. Really? That's funny. I've got a... Don't go down that path, Larry. Blow You'll hole. blow it. Ah, uh, I mean, I've got a feeling. A feeling that that's a terrible job. Why don't you quit? What? And <laughs> give up show business? Gee, Jasmine. For a girl who's around fish all day, you sure do smell good. Oh, thank you. It is difficult to stay fresh. Your perfume is fantastic. Thanks, Larry. I guess you could say that I'm somewhat of a perfume connoisseur. Larry, a connoisseur is one who understands the details, techniques, and principles of an art and is competent to act as a critical judge. I actually knew that. 
<laughs> so, you understand the details, techniques, and principles of perfume and are competent to act as a critical judge? Exactly. Gosh, Larry, it's like you know me. Inside and out. Inside? Wow! <laughs> perfume's my passion. I have, like, literally a thousand perfumes. Some of them are really, really, really expensive. I don't think there's one I don't have. You always wear perfume? Oh, yes. A lot of the time, Wait that's me. all I wear. Oh, my God! Oh, my happy, <laughs> happy God! Hey, now. I about to say, why wear perfumes when you're swimming all day? Well then, I guess it's safe to assume you don't need more perfume. Are you kidding? I'm dying for something new. Something fresh. Something original. But at this point, I don't think there's a man on Earth who could come up with that. There's your cue, Larry. But where are you going to find a unique perfume that she's never smelled before? Well then, I guess it's safe to assume you don't need more perfume. There. It's great to meet you, Jazz. No need to hurry, Larry. Oops. I'm about to go on break, but I really hope I see you later. So, perfume, you say? Eh, it's worth a shot. Under other circumstances, that might prove to be a perfectly suitable hiding place. <laughs> Didn't mean that. Nothing you have will improve on her lovely face. Alright, that's a no-go. Uh, hmm. So I need to find an odor that she hasn't smelled before. Well, let's look around the room here. See what's Yoo available. Mr. Wiggle! Mr. Wiggles, uh, the truth is he's ignoring you. Whales are highly intelligent and sensitive. I meant to look. Mr. Wiggles, the casino's whale, is frolicking merrily in the huge aquarium. Uh, just a second. Save because I'm about to do something probably that's going to kill me. You scoop up a bit of the water and rub it between your fingers. I'm guessing two parts hydrogen, five parts oxygen. How about Excuse this? Excuse me, that's Mr. Wiggle's food. He might not like it with someone else's body stink on it. Nothing personal. How could I possibly take that personally? You jiggle the nearest locker. It's locked. Hence the name. You ch hence okay. the. And how about Larry? Her? Moving a little quickly, aren't we? I sure hope so. Hmm. She looks at it with disinterest. Thought I'd try. You can Welcome to the come and go. Let us cater your next trip across state lines. There's condoms. Let us be discreet about this. I understand you are interested in our birth control devices. Yes, I'd like one of your finest prophylaxatives. We have all manner of lovers for your stooping pleasure. What sort of lover are you preferring? What? What length would you like? Um... What girth are you requiring? Eh... Ladies. Okay, uh, whatever. What texture would you like? Uh, Sharpie. Pocket marked. What? Pocket marked. Dimpled. Ripped. What faux finish would you like? Uh, semi gloss would be nice. How about brushed aluminum? What excess capacity do you require? Uh, given he's probably virgin. What sort of lubrication would you like? Super meta fung gaia caffeine extra picante. What sort of scent would you like? Certainly, sir. There you go. Thank you. Hey, everybody! This perv just bought it! Latex, standard small, African banana girth, ribbed, 
brushed aluminum, old faithful capacity, spermicidal, fine fresh scented lubber. What a pervert! I guess those probably more Kickstarters there. <laughs> you know, usually with games, if you pay enough money for the Kickstarter, you get in the game, which I've done. Or they haven't asked me for a photo yet, so I'll definitely show you guys the uh, game I'm in. Anyway, so now I have a condom. Woohoo! Um, well, I know what to do with that. Um, let's go make some water balloons. We're just. Oh shoot! I forgot to pay. Freeze, my Larry. Do I still have it? Yes, I do. So I actually have to pay for it. Okay. Thank you. Now please leave. There is no loitering. All right. So now I have a condom. Now I can be safe and not get. You strip off your jacket. You strip off the rest of your clothes. You carefully guide the condom onto your tumescent little Larry. Smart man, now get cracking. There we you go. You hop into bed with the hooker. Ooh. Yeah, you wear a condom, but who knows what kind of diseases exist on that bed. Although successful, you feel less than satisfied. Technically speaking, you're no longer a virgin, but for some reason, the thrill just wasn't there. You vow to continue your quest until you please your heart, not just your other organs. Can we talk to her again? You smile. Was it good for you? Was what good for me? I mean, I thought we really connected in a way that goes beyond the usual, you know, I'm paying you, you're paying me kind of relationship. I'm paying you, honey. You're lucky I paid attention. I was a vex <laughs> through almost that whole thing. So you didn't feel a spark? Oh, that. That's these sheets. Like, Told gotta you. start using fabric softener. Um, you're not gonna put me in some little black book of customers, are you? Nah, they're not that organized. I only have one rule when it comes to keeping track of my customers. What's that? First in, first out. <laughs> Thanks. I'll call you. Oh, God. God, no. <laughs> well, we've done our business here. Either get dressed. Or All right. I wanted to see if they let me uh, you walk put out. Your clothes back on. So, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Not my first time sleeping with the Russian hooker. Let's move on. First time I think I left this way. Uh, did I get anything new from that? Not really. Well, I'm just as stuck as last time. Shoot. What to do? Suddenly you feel a refreshing breeze in an unusual place. Then you realize you failed to zip your fly. Then you realize that you're still wearing your condom. Come back here, pervert! Let's take it from the top. Figuratively and literally. Okay, so what? You carefully remove the condom and dispose of it uh... in the pile of other used condoms. Smart thinking, Larry. You just saved yourself a lot of public embarrassment. Yeah, apparently that's what I just did. You put all your clothes. You don't need any of this garbage. You're saving your pocket. The woman on the bed looks joyless, overweight, sallow, and kind of mean. She's either a hooker or a nun. 